Hey Fingsters, in this video I will show you how to execute Python from Tableau with TabPy. You need Tableau Desktop running on your computer. And then you need to do pip install TabPy. So the install didn't work, and that's because one of the dependencies, Twisted, did not install correctly. You can see that here. Twisted is in red. When this failed the first time for me, I found a post on Stack Overflow that explains that this happens sometimes when you're installing packages on Windows, and that you should try installing with the unofficial Windows binary. So I went to this website and downloaded the .whl file that's appropriate to my version of Python. And so I'm going to just navigate to my downloads directory. And then here, here's the version that I downloaded from that website. And then I did a pip install and then just that file name. And so now Twisted is installed, and then I can try doing that pip install tab pi again. And this time it should actually work. All right, so now we've successfully installed tab pi. So the next step is setting it up. And we can start the server just by typing tab pi. And so it says the web service is listening on port 9004. And so if I go over here, type localhost 9004. I get this. I have the deployed models because I already ran that. That comes later. But you should at least see this server info. And you should see this useful links. So now I have it up and running. And I'm going to start Tableau Desktop and go to help and then settings and performance and then manage analytics extension connection and if it says our serve switch to tab pi localhost port 9004 click test connection and i get that i've successfully connected i'm going to move on to a first example and both the examples use this mails.csv which i've downloaded so i'm going to go here connect to a text file and then find that star.csv and click on this. And so now I'm going to click on sheet one to start working with the data. And I'm going to add married and residence to the row shelf first after renaming married to put that extra R in. And then I want also experience and wage. I'm going to double click those. And I'm going to switch them from sums to averages. And so now I have my view set up. I now want to add a calculation that's going to do a call to tab pi. So I'm going to call this tab pi core. I'm going to do script real and then in quotes I'm going to put my python expression and then at the end I'm going to put my my sum or average experience and average wage. So these values that I have up. So and I'm going to take these values and I'm going to send them over to Python, do something with them, and then send back some real numbers. And so here's the specific formula that I'm going to use. Copy it over from here into Tableau, like that. And it's going to take the average experience and the average wage. And average experience will be argument one. And average wage will be argument two. And I've got my import numpy expression here, and then I'm going to return the correlation coefficient of these two arguments using this 0, 1 to just return the, a single number rather than a 2 by 2 array. So 
I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to double click this to add it to my view. And so this is telling me that the correlation coefficient, the Pearson correlation coefficient is 0.734. And if I switch over to my console, because I have those print statements, I can see how the data is moving between Tableau and TabPy and then back. So I'm sending two lists, arg1 and arg2. And if I look at this arg1, I see the first number here is 6.23, which matches this. And the last number is 7.304, which matches that. And so you can just understand that these numbers here are put into a list and sent over to tab pi as argument one. And then average wage is sent over as argument two. It starts with 1.54 and ends with 1.68. And then we see that the return value is 0.7337. It's printed out because I added this print statement here. And so we're printing out that value. And then finally, we do actually return the number with this line. And so that is the value that gets repeated down here. Now, we could, instead of sending a single value, we could send a list with this length, but instead we're just sending one value and it's repeated. And notice we're sending the aggregated values, not the values in the underlying data that's here, right? We're not sending the wage here or the experience here. We're sending the aggregated values. So we're really finding the correlation of the average experience and average wage in this view. I can change the way the calculation works by switching the compute all using from table down to pane down. And now instead of making one call with all of these values and all of these values over to tab pi, I'm doing a calculation for married equals no with just the values highlighted here and the values highlighted there, and then doing another call to tab pi using just the values here and there. And so I get two different correlation coefficients. And if I switch over to my command prompt, I can see that happening. Here I'm doing one, two, three, four, five values related to these, and then a second list with one, two, three, four, five values that are here. And I get back that's negative 0.33. And then there's a second call that uses these five values as argument one, and these five values as argument two and we get a single correlation coefficient back for married equals yes. So when I change how the table calculation works, instead of using table down, pane down, I get two separate calls. And this is exactly the same thing as the window correlation function. I'm gonna do a window core and do this. And so if I do average wage and average experience and then I do compute all using pane down, I get exactly the same answers. So tab pi is doing the same thing that the window core function does. The only difference is with tab pi, we're sending the data to Python for the calculation, whereas with the window core, we're doing all the calculation within Tableau. So in that sense, it's not a very useful example but it does help you, us to understand how the data is moving from Tableau to the, the TabPy server. Let's take a second example. If we go down here, we take a look at a t-test. Specifically, we're looking at a two-sample t-test. And so it's a way that we can take two samples and determine whether the means in the general population are different based on those two samples. We're going to look at whether those in a union have a different amount of experience from those not in a union on average. To do that, I'm going to double click or add union like this and add experience like that. And now because the tab pi functions, because the script real function is a, a table calculation, we can't send individual values to the function unless we do a disaggregate. So a table calculation is going to work on whatever values are in the view, not the underlying data. And so here we have like 6.49 and here's 6.57. But if we remove the aggregate measures option, then we get the individual values of experience 
showing up in the view. And so those will all be sent over to tab pi instead of having it just be the average. And so this is kind of a way that we work around the fact that the uh, script real function is a table calculation. We can send the individual values by disaggregating the data, and then we're able to send over the unique values. We're gonna do that, and then we're going to write this function here. Well, actually, first we need to run tab pi deploy models. Open a new command prompt and type tab pi deploy models. And once this is done, you can go over here and type localhost 9004, and you should see those deployed models. So here it says deployed models, and it's got ANOVA, principal component analysis, sentiment analysis, and t-test. We're, of course, just going to be using t-test. I'll just copy the Python code for that from the post. And I'm going to do t-test. Paste it in. I don't really need the print statement. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to put it as a tool tip. And so now when I mouse over, I see that my t-test is 0 0.4320. So we can conclude that there is not a statistically significant difference in the means for those in a union compared with those not in a union. So that, that's good. That's, that's the result. Um, we, we now have a t-test that's something we cannot do in Tableau unless we use Python or R because the two sample t-test function doesn't exist in Tableau. Lastly, I'd like to do a quick note about troubleshooting. So I'm gonna show an error here and I'm gonna show how I would figure out why this error is happening. So I'm gonna change from compute all using table across to compute all using cell. And now I get this, the endpoint you're trying to query did not respond. So this is kind of a general error message. It's not too helpful at figuring out what the problem here is. But if I switch to the command prompt, I'll get some more detail. I think somewhere here, I'm gonna find that the t-test threw an error at line 34 or something like that. Yeah, here I see file t-test.py in line 34 and t-test cannot perform reduce with flexible type. If I go to the git for tab pi, here I can find line 34. The function has an if, elif, else that determines which type of t-test the function will perform. If the if condition is true, we do a one sample t-test. In this case, arg1 is the values of the sample and arg2 represents the hypothesized mean. When the elif condition is true, we treat arg1 as numeric and arg2 as a binary factor. This is the case we are interested in because arg1 is experience and arg2 is a binary factor, union equals yes or union equals no. Arg2 determines which sample the corresponding value of arg1 is a part of. The else condition looks at the case where arg1 and arg2 are both numeric and the t-test is determining whether they have the same mean. So here's the problem. The function should be sending us into the elif block, but somehow we're ending up in the else condition and getting to line 34. This is because when we switch to compute using cell, we make multiple calls to tab pi, some with married equals yes only, and some with married equals no only. As a result, arg2 is not binary, and therefore the expression length of set of arg2 is equal to two evaluates to false. So we end up in the else condition, which expects that both arg1 and arg2 will be numeric. Arg2 is not numeric, so we get an error. So this is just an example of how you can troubleshoot error messages with tab pi. You have to look at the stack trace in the command prompt and think carefully about the post that Tableau is making to the tab pi server and what tab pi is doing with that data.